Uh, my guest on today's show is Warren Cass. He's the founder of Business Scene, a national business community for entrepreneurs and business owners focused on helping them build more successful businesses. R rather than just being uh, something where somebody would turn up and maybe um, try and sell something at a networking event because they don't understand the environment, we've tried to create a culture which is much more about supporting each other. So you're actually leveraging the advice and the expertise in the room rather than it just being about business generation. I find it really unusual in the UK that you need a license to fish, yet you can start a business, be VAT registered, be employing staff all within a few days without any idea of your obligations as an employer. People will start a business, they may have been doing that particular job for somebody else for the last 20 years but decided now it's time for me to you know, make my own way. So they take that expertise. They don't necessarily know how to sell that service or market that service or even run the business function around that service. They're good at that service. First reason, I think that the vast majority of people go to, uh, when they're starting in networking, they go to lots of events once. So they go to lots of different networks once. And because they don't necessarily walk away with business, they think it's not working for them. And what they fail to understand, it's not about shallow relationships, it's about deep relationships. So networking can really provide money when you get to know people over a period of time and therefore build trust. Um, so I do encourage everybody to shop around. Go, go and look at several groups, feel the, the vibe in the room, see how you're welcomed and how relevant you are to them. So essentially, we've built benefits into four categories, uh, which we, we have as, as growth, savings, protection and support. And so, because uh, we recognise that the type of organisation that comes to us, yes, wants to save money. In fact, what's, what's lovely, just in two or three of those benefits alone, in fact, a single benefit can save the membership fee, um, whether it's from merchant services to savings on your insurance, whatever it might be. Um, well, hello everyone, uh, Warren Cass from Business Scene. That's www.business-scene.com. And uh, I'll share with you a couple of quick points on networking, just to summarize the networking aspect of it. So you may be looking to start a business, you may already be running a business, but the quality of the company you keep, your credibility by association is really, really important. And building a network that does much more than perhaps uh, uh, give you a, a potential source of leads, but one that helps you um, filter the bad ideas from the good, one that perhaps gives you some sanity when you're dealing with issues within the business, um, and the friendships that can come from it will be very, very powerful for you moving forward. My suggestion is that you go out and find a networking group or two um, that suit you well, but commit to them and do them regularly rather than going to lots and lots of places once, because we're moving away from shallow relationships to deeper trusted relationships. While you're there, think strategically about the type of people you want to develop those relationships with. So, uh, you know, who, who's more aligned? Who has a similar client base or uh, uh, maybe is in an industry that kind of relates? Um, and spend some time with those and get to know them offline as well. Um, the thing about most networking and where most people fail is when it comes to the follow-up. Follow-up is incredibly important. Um, again, if you promise to do something and don't do it, um, it can be damaging for your reputation, trust me. I know from personal experience when you become incredibly busy and, and don't get around to following up on one of those two things, it can be damaging. So make, make, it, make sure you've got a system. I like to write on people's business cards. So if I'm obligated to do something, I'll write on that and I'll try and make a point of, of getting it done within the couple of days um, beyond the event. And the reason for that is quite simply money loves speed. Um, the longer you leave it, the colder the lead gets and the, and the worse that's going to be for you. Um, whilst at the networking event though, uh, as I say, think strategically and remember there's an etiquette to it. So don't just come into an event and interrupt people's conversations or if people are, are closed body language, leave them alone. They're probably having a serious conversation. You're actually interrupting and your first impression will be one that's rude. So look for open body language and always take that one step back from the, the, the group and make eye contact with the person who's speaking. They will naturally pause in their conversation and invite you in. And at that point, make sure you talk to everybody that you're inclusive. My last, um, my last point from a networking is, is about being interested, not interesting. The best way you can accelerate the whole rapport process is ask lots of questions and be really interested in people. It makes a far better impression. Mm -hmm.